Big Shoulders has always been interested in making sure that the impact that we're having matches the input of the efforts. How do we harness the power of data to make an impact in students' lives? And that means looking at lots of different sources of data and also taking that data and making it actionable. The Data-Driven Instruction Initiative has a few different goals. One of the big goals is to improve teachers' data literacy, to help them use data in ways that are meaningful in their classroom, and ultimately really to improve schools. We had data, but what should we do with this data? As a principal, I might be thinking, well, we need to improve it in one area or another, but this data has shown us exactly which areas we need to improve in. You have eager faces looking at you ready to learn, but you need to know what they have to learn in their grade level, what they've already accomplished, and how might they best go about it. Having these data teams and having data-driven instruction, the teachers are able to pinpoint what they need to work on, and they're able to back it up with research. We meet every two months or so to dive into the data. We really want to see where they need the most help so that we can give them the best education possible. It has helped me to test the children and then it tells you what reading level they're at. Learning exactly where the data is, what we can do with the data. Sometimes you get the data and it's not where you want it to be. There was the Aspire interim assessment. I got that data back, I looked at it, and the, the students didn't do well. And so the, the question is, so what? What do I do next? So I was able to go into a section on the Aspire where you can actually look at the actual questions that the students missed. I can look at the percent of students that missed those questions. My job is saying, well, here's something that I know works because research has shown it. It really makes you feel good that this is a community of learners and a community that is really pushing to have high expectations with the data. So the data team is pivotal because it's taking leadership or ownership. That we're not just trying to pass them on to the next grade level, but that we're trying to actually strengthen their weaknesses, make their strengths even stronger, and help them to be leaders in their grade level. We're creating an environment that feels supportive. We're creating an environment that helps us individualize our learning. Teachers are feeling that it is much more personal now. One of the big pieces of data that we use in our work is the five essentials. It's a survey that is given to students and faculty and it looks at the school environment, instruction, um, the community, family input, leadership in the school. One of the big levers for improvement was teacher collaboration. By bringing in the data protocol and ensuring that teachers were collaborating on a regular basis, looking at data, all of the schools that are in the Data Driven Instruction Initiative grew significant amounts on teacher collaboration. In using the tool like the Five Essentials, we not only can drill down in one school and get a sense of how we can make productive change and impact in that school, but we can also scale back and look at a whole network of schools and say, what are the areas that our schools struggle and how can we at Big Shoulders address those needs? And the more we see the data and we see that we're improving, the more we will rely on using that data to inform the instruction. This initiative has helped to give us the support that we need to be able to get our students to succeed at the highest levels.